Look at that beautiful, beautiful RV. Look at that beautiful wife. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Joshua. And I'm Liz. And together with our three kids, we are taking a cross-country summer trip from the Florida Panhandle to South Lake Tahoe, California, and back. Driving our Class C RV, we explored 10 different states over four weeks, laughing, sometimes crying, but always making memories with our family. If you want to see what it's like to leave everyday life behind and join us for a trip of a lifetime, then come along for the adventure. We actually had a pretty late start yesterday, about 8 o'clock at night, but we made it just outside of Lafayette in Louisiana around, I think it was about 1.30 in the yes. morning. Hopefully, we didn't lose too much time and we're going to be able to make up quite a bit today. Somebody's car was being difficult getting on the, ramp, uh, the, the car dolly there, but we figured it out. So that put us behind. We wanted to leave around 5 and get a few hours on the road yesterday evening, and uh, like I said, we didn't leave till like 8. Eight, so anyway, we're still on track. You know, it's what yeah. it's about uh, seven thirty this morning. You know, so we're getting a decent start. Seven fifty-seven. Okay, we're close. Mm -hmm. Our first leg of the trip is headed out to Page, Arizona, where we're going to be seeing Horseshoe Bend, hopefully, and um, the Vermilion. So we'll be plan is to be there Friday. But we've actually uh, signed up for a membership for Harvest Host. So for the next three nights, we're going to be staying at some pretty cool places. Tonight is supposed to be at a ranch. In Texas, right? Yes. we got to drive like seven hours to get there. So, so let's yeah. go ahead and load up. Yeah. You ever driven to Dallas? And um, we actually were going to boom dock and decided since it's 95 degrees, we will pay the $35 to get a hookup to let our, our generator rest a little bit. This is the NRS Event Center. Um, it is a ranch here. I believe it's 265 acres is what I read. And it's actually a working ranch. So there's cows, there's horses. Where they ride the horses through rodeos and stuff in there. Check it out. Mom's having trouble going over the cattle gate. Here. You know what they say? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what do they say? And not being able to walk over the gate. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the NRS store we were walking to. Turns out it's called National Roper Supply. That's what NRS stands for. Daddy, saw it on a hat. So in case anyone was wondering, what? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I already made my Got me a hat. But Got like me so, a hat. National Roper Supply, they have the events. They have the events. They have a. Big store. Do they fix trailers? There's a trailer over there in the store. A big trailer. Or a trailer. Built, but they have a trailer yeah. store and then they have this hey, store. Yeah. And the RV store on the other side of the property. Mm -hmm. So all kinds of all kinds of stuff going on here. Alright, so we checked out the store. We're gonna go check over check out the overlook. Got me a straw hat by the way. 
forgot my hunt in the front one, so I had to pick one up along the way before we make it out to the desert. Where are you going, girl? Don't call me Mr. Dog. No. <laughs> no. She's exercising, Ma. Ma, look at that. That's nice. It's not electric. Hey, get back over here. Cows are going to get you. Silly girl. It's beautiful. I want to take a shortcut. Yeah, Bubby and Bubby are taking a shortcut. Somebody's too scared to go through the grass again. I got attacked earlier. <laughs> you ready? I'm going to put you down. You're going to walk through here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> See if we can find some grasshoppers. So fast. I can't go any faster. I am tired. I've been carrying you for a half mile hike. Are you thirsty too? Yes, I am very thirsty. <laughs> Need some Are water. You hungry? I am hungry. Your mama's supposed to have some chicken. I'll be called a grasshopper. Good job. See? Oh, he's a big one. See it? See it? Hold up here, Jay. That right. Did you make it? No, no grasshoppers attacked you? None. Zero. <laughs> Us either. Ryan even picked one up. Maybe he's yeah. going to make a pet out of it. But. It was like he just told me. Jaden wanted to name him Hot Dog. <laughs> There's so many flies. But that would be like complaining like this ranch is too ranchy. Ranchy. <laughs> it's too ranchy. There's too many flies. Too many horse stalls. It's a pretty cool stop, I'd say. It was, and it's not far off of, I don't know, were we on an interstate or highway? Whatever it was, this is not far out of the way at all. We are in Texas. We just passed a little while ago Burnham, Texas. We are on our way to Amarillo. Fighting the winds. It, it's windy, you can kind of tell by those windmills. Yeah, well, they turn them off, I might be able to drive. I'm kidding. <laughs> it is hard. Like the wind is, is brutal and it just blows you around like crazy in this RV. You gotta be on your toes. Outside it's great because it's really hot, but it feels like you have a fan blowing directly in your face the whole time. But inside the RV, I think this is the first time I've ever gotten car sick, and I was I was really car sick. So we just stopped to give me a break for a little bit, eat some lunch, and now we are. Continuing on, like I said, we're going to Amarillo tonight. Hopefully, going to go to Cadillac Ranch, see a couple other cool things. You excited? like the desert. I have a tendency of finding the most random weirdest stops to possibly go to. It drives Josh nuts. Like we spent hours looking for the Peter Pan statue in London and then when we were in San Francisco we were looking at for these stairs that are like mosaic stairs. But I think this might be pretty cool. So do you know anything about this place? Do I? Yeah. I mean, I've seen pictures of it. I know it's just randomly on the side of the road. Or do you know something unique about it? Did you Google it? I did, but I can't remember 
No, it's actually it's an art installation that yeah. someone was able to convince someone to do. <laughs> and it's just stayed. It just stuck. Was that worth the three day drive? Yeah. Good All right, time to go back to Florida. That's what we came out here for, right? That was it. The I'm whole point of the trip. Yeah. I think it was pretty cool. We had fun. The kids had fun spray painting. It was cold. You cold? Way colder than it should be. It's 98 degrees out here, so. Okay. I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting. You're fine. Are you going to go in, Jaden? No, I got in for nothing. Well, we chickened out. We were supposed to be boondocking this evening. Um, over here, we we're in Amarillo, Texas. As far as we made it, went to Cadillac Ranch earlier, which someone had recommended. Thank you. It was so much fun. Um, but we were supposed to boondock tonight. It's really hot. And especially being at a Cadillac Ranch, there's no shade whatsoever. And afterwards, you're like, you know what? Let's see how much it is and if we can get an RV place with a pool. And we did. So we are staying at the Oasis tonight. It has a pool, um, it has hookups. We can take showers in the bathhouse. It's gonna be really nice. And it was only about $50, so that's not bad at all. Everyone right now is enjoying the pool before I make some dinner. Yeah, agree. <laughs> a little bit. Get in there. This is definitely um, Texas architecture. Does not look like this back home. Jane's collecting her rocks. That's your rock holder. <laughs> that works. What are you making? Chicken. Garlic bread. Yeah, as you see here. It doesn't look done. It's not quite. Just oh. it all. 